Yo, Oompaville, what is happening? Hey, buddy. Hey, I figured there are some really wacky, cringy, horrible animations on YouTube. You're a really wacky, cringy, uh, weird individual. Yes, perfect. exactly. Let's it's do it. Perfect. And it, it's views. a match made in heaven. Views. The boys are here watching it's... some terrible <laughs> animations on YouTube. <laughs> Two out of the four. Well, not, not at all epic foreshadowing uh -oh. of some uh -oh. massive event that may take uh -oh. place in the future. Uh-oh. Definitely subscribe if you're interested in Smash Like. Uh-oh. <laughs> the first one that I wanted to start off with today. Conjoined twins, psycho sisters sharing a body. All right. What is this? What it's is an this animation be? that is to teach us about life. This is made by Share My Story. So okay. as we know, it is probably 100% accurate. It's definitely true. If I've learned anything from these stories on the internet is that there are 99% of them, of all of them are all true. Yes. I agree with that <laughs> man, completely. The truth. Oh, and funnily enough, I'm doing another collab with Oompaville on his channel, yeah. reacting to animations with him there. Yes. A different one. Different ones. Other wacky ones. Better ones. The video is better. Come to my channel. Please, come to my <laughs> channel. All right, all right, all right. We booty slap each other. It's pretty hype. Yeah, it was pretty sick. I may have popped a finger in there, to be honest. I mean, I felt something, and now I know what it was. <laughs> when my mom was pregnant, her doctor told her she was expecting one baby girl. But instead, okay. she got us conjoined. Two the price of yeah, that's the type of deal I'm not looking forward to, though. You know, <laughs> normally the bulk value. Not a businessman. <laughs> You're very short-sighted. <laughs> Join twins. While my mom loved us deeply, my dad told her to let us die. God, oh! that's morbid. Oh, oh my gosh. God, what? Just gonna drop that Dude, on us? Dude, let those things die. Leave them outside. <laughs> but it's raining outside. Good, they'll die faster. Yeah. Let the dog oh, bury them. I'm excited for them to twist this and paint the mom as the bad guy here. I'm excited to see him grow into big old women. Have you seen the <laughs> thumbnail? Just to accidentally let us drop on the floor oh, because no God. one would be suspicious of Dude. us dying anyway. Did you hear that? Did I catch that correctly? It says no one would be suspicious of them dying anyway, but in the audio it said something different. Would be suspicious let us of us dying anyway. It says no one huh? would be suspicious of us dying anyway. Is this from the <laughs> perspective of those babies? This what is the hell? I think this whole family commits like joint not alive. Joint game end. It's a pretty gamer move. It's a Epic true gamer move. When our mom refused, he said, well, at least give them up for adoption. But my Dude, mom wouldn't give in, so our dad broke up with her and left. Yo! Imagine a single mom raised Yo! What a Yo. gangster! This dude, look at this dude! Do they have three boobs? Right. Twins. It wasn't easy, but doctors offered her money so they could do experiments with us. What? The most okay. cruel one was Makes giving sense. one of us electroshocks to see if the other one would feel the pain. I like this. I like Electroshock this. people I like so that this. they feel... I mean, okay. I completely agree with what the doctor's doing, and right, I exactly. think it's ethical, but based exactly. on the yes. weird moral standing of society today, inflicting pain on people, it's not a gamer move. That I'm probably wouldn't fly. Kind of that yeah. probably wouldn't fly, but, you know, we're... I, I, I'm, I'm a bit of a traditionalist. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. They do have no, What no, the f***? And afterward, she promised us no more experiments. That's so nice of her. By the way, my name is Elaine, and her name is Buttface. Let me what? tell you about. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that uh, <laughs> Buttface got the short end of the stick here. <laughs> are you goddamn? Are you kidding me? Or does she Yo, just control the narrative? Buttface was totally okay with it. In tenth grade, she developed a crush on our classmate Derek, who Ooh. liked her back. Bruh. They constantly flirting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not how that works. That's though. the romance but I'm Derek into. Is one of the most boring guys in the world. So I yes. told my sister. No, that's none of your business. If she likes it, let, she let her follow me, her dreams. Afterward, we made a deal. This is we lit. We had to find a guy that we both loved. What? Oh. <laughs> huh? So this went from Siamese twins to polygamy really quickly. Yeah, so they have, <laughs> I'm guessing they're sharing one organ if they have to agree on who they like. But then again, I True. can see people like immediately getting enticed by the third boob. That's an extra boob <laughs> than any of their friends have. You can see people getting enticed. You can see me. I'm, over here. I'm fully enticed. <laughs> I know, enticed. I saw you. I saw your face when you saw that thumbnail, man. It lit up up like a kid on Christmas. Like a kid on crack. Day, we got Dude, approached a by a Chinese thing. lady. Oh, she why did that just They were by approached that. by a Chinese lady. <laughs> she said, Nishu <laughs> Chongare Ma. <laughs> Businessman who wanted us to come to China. Oh. I said, for what? And she responded, my boss really likes the way you two look and he will Human pay testing. you a lot of money. How much? I asked. Big money. So hold on, hold on. They're admitting that they're whores. They're just haggling right. overpriced, right? Yes, they're selling their bodies, but not in the same way that they probably think they're selling their bodies. They're pro they're selling their bodies in like, they have two heads. Dude, you're, you're contributing a lot to this conversation. I really am, I'm adding a lot. <laughs> 
Damn. <laughs> I feel very important right now. <laughs> Hell yeah. And she laid a briefcase on the table. When she opened it, we saw lots of money and she said, he will pay you $1 million in cash if you're going to stay with him for six months. Oh, man. We both looked at each other. This sounded kind of sketchy, but $1 million is a lot of money. So I asked her to show us a photo of him. I mean, if they're going to sleep with this dude for six months, yeah. the guy, I mean, he's got to look like a stud. If a Chinese woman would give me a million dollars <laughs> for six months, I don't really care what she looks like, to be honest. The guy was already in his 50s and a bit fat, but he looked very friendly. So we both agreed on flying to China to meet him. Chinese. When we arrived at his mansion. Oh, he's the pig that they took. He looked very it's the same so picture. Agreed on the flying fuck? to China to meet him. He was standing when in that spot for years. <laughs> <laughs> this man's not just fat. He can't move. And he likes twins. Look at that bulge, too. God damn, this man packing. When we arrived at his mansion, he greeted us with a big smile and gave us a hug. He wasn't oh. as creepy at all. <laughs> that was more back. like a big, oh, oh, my. A big yeah. smile and gave us a hug. Yeah! Oh, Yo! To meet him. Oh, that's the <laughs> cursed image I've ever seen in my entire life. That is amazing. Are there churches yeah. in China? Uh, not ones that have that on the top. He wasn't as creepy at all. He was more like a big teddy bear, so we didn't mind that he pressed his head <laughs> against our middle breast. I mean, yo, yo, <laughs> yo, line, yo, that what? line, dude. bro. Most people, we don't let them anywhere near huh? our middle breast. But yo, this dude, what? bro, he just gave us the feeling. We immediately yeah. let him in. We unlocked the gate. We knew exactly what he was paying us for, but soon things started to become a little bit uncomfortable. He used us as a status symbol, and whenever his friends came over, we had to dress yo! up in lingerie and serve. That four, it's a plot hole. What's happening right now? What am I looking at? I think we are actually in Star Wars right now. And it's t they're I mean, this kind of looks like Darth Vader over here. No. Oh, it's not like Darth Vader's thingo. Oh. <laughs> That's the sound of my <laughs> vagina. <laughs> His friends would always be in awe and then laugh at us. Of yes. course, it was quite uncomfortable to be half naked and stared at by a bunch of guys, but that was nothing. Look at the outfit. Keep them dressing. Like, what? That's, what's that? That's some weird, like, World of Warcraft cosplay. That's some Conan shit. Thing compared to the shows we had to perform How for is them. this on YouTube? But I don't want to go <laughs> I love this, that. dude. I'm a fan. Anyway, when we Hell came yeah. back to the U.S., we bought ourselves an apartment and got a job at a bank. They even paid us two salaries, but what we really wanted what? was to get it. What? Ah, is that Zuko? We really but this is Bakugo from My Hero Academia. Huh? The anime, he died. At 4.20 a.m., look what time it is, too. This is an edgy movie Bruh. animation. This is the most cursed job ever. These people are working. Of course, they're getting two salaries. They're working at 4.20 a.m. Track! What the she fuck? likes Track! She likes, she likes MDMA Track. Look at the difference The difference in his pupil size. I'm not going to lie. Not I, I kind of think he like, she likes Shrek because he looks like the Chinese guy. That's a point. That's a good point. So we tried out the Dude, dating Michael app. Hold on Jackson. a second. <laughs> oh, my God. This whole thing. These are two characters from... from Demon Slayer, Thunder, his name is Zenitsu, Gampachiro, his name is Tanjiro, and he has the nickname Gampachiro. Hot Pennywise, that's Hisoka, this pedophile clown. Who's Douglas? From, what anime what anime is he I, from? I don't I don't recognize Douglas. He kind of <laughs> looks like a me. Douglas looks like um fuck, what's that guy? Slime sickle. <laughs> <laughs> to see it but douglas did we met him in a small park oh, okay. and for the first <laughs> what was that weird walk we met him in a small park and for the first <laughs> time both of us had great chemistry with the same guy he was funny charming and good looking but we quickly learned that he was manipulative Bro, and toxic he what? was one night Shrek i was laying in bed next to him while my sister was asleep he began telling huh? me that he loved me more than my sister because she was annoying and Bruh. stuck up. Meanwhile, she calls her sister butt face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, hey. <laughs> like I was. I see. He's doing the same thing to her. Having secret conversations with what my sister dick. too. <laughs> One <laughs> night, <laughs> I woke <laughs> up and heard them talking. My sister was giggling, and I asked, "What are you guys talking about?" She responded, "Oh, nothing important." And I said, <laughs> "Wait, did he tell you that he likes you more than me?" My sister responded, "Yes, he did." <laughs> I said, "He told me the same thing." And then they went super. Well, saying, a few minutes later. Dude, I don't understand. Douglas is probably the stupidest man on the, on the planet. They should have watched his corn video first. Then they would have known what the hell's going on. Yes. Corn. We had weird. thrown him out of our apartment. You see, Looks more like a motel. Like, Yo, well, when they said they threw him out of the apartment, they literally threw him out of the apartment. Yeah. Hopefully they threw him <laughs> over that banister right there. He <laughs> fell to his death. He's using the force trying to push him out of there. <laughs> You see, being conjoined twins is like being married on steroids. Even though what? you are two different people, you're still the same person because even if my sister has a bad day, I yeah. will have a bad day too. Luckily, our current boyfriend Robert is a good guy are. who loves us equally and Hell even yeah. has a fetish for our three breasts. Oh my god! 
She found her knight in shining armor. That's me. That's me. That's her new boyfriend. It's me. Dude, you have, a, you have a fetish for everything that moves, okay? True, true. You must be wondering whether one guy can pleasure both of us. If scientists could grow us a- Yo, the scientists look like they're from Tom and Jerry. if we want to be separated someday. <laughs> and the answer is yes. Well, for I bet you- in the brain. They, they completely stole this image from somewhere else. There's yeah, no this, way they drew this. It's no. a different art style completely. Yeah. They just stole this image. Totally different art style completely. Hell yeah. Smash <laughs> like if we should sue them. Smash like if we should sue them. 100,000 <laughs> likes will sue them. Let's do it. <laughs> could grow us a second body and put one of our heads onto it, we would definitely Yo, do it. But that doesn't mean body. that we aren't happy with our current lives. Right now, we are even trying to have a baby and start our own family. How's that work? Oh, baby is it? Oh, see, this is what they do. That's the end of that story. And they just have another bonus story to get it over 10 minutes. And the bonus like story it. is <laughs> Anyway, so I found this one. I, I like this title a lot. Pretty Girl Works as a Prison Guard, My Love Story. Right, so right. This looks like one of those very natural, definitely believable stories. Absolutely. Uh, from Dory's story which mm -hmm. has a cr credibility rating of dumb high. Hi, I'm Kelly, and I'm 20 years oh, old. Oh, God, that voice. Tell this me, are you ready to meet your soulmate? No. A year ago, I met the best girl in the world at a local bar. I fell in <laughs> love with her so hard that it seems like I couldn't live without her. All that remains of our happiness is in this locket. My what? mother is a normal pharmacist. Wait, hold on. I don't, I, what the hell is happening? How I don't, I, I'm like, I got really good posture. She just steamrolled through her whole life in like three seconds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I don't yeah. want to go back to lima bean. My only reaction to that was to have a really good posture. But she never understood me. She wanted me to get married as soon as possible, right. to give birth to her grandchildren, mm. at least three. Do you think parents should put pressure on their children? Yes. This question, are they like trying to sell some sort of crazy narrative that, listen kids, your parents may think they know what's good, but in fact, no. Like what would it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they serve no purpose other than just pooping you out and that's it. After they've pooped you out and <laughs> fornicated appropriately, just, just get the hell away from them. Yeah, they don't mean sh it was You're not welcome. my mom's standard. She had short purple hair and tattoos all over her body. But she needed a magnifying glass to see that. I mean, to yeah. be fair, I didn't even notice at first glance. I'm yeah, glad they pointed it out. I didn't. She looks like the fucking rock. <laughs> Behind all that, I saw a gentle soul. My mother didn't immediately like her. She said, Don't do that to this video. Yeah, Only upvotes on this video. Hopefully Later, that's not Melissa subliminal. would break my heart and betray me. <laughs> I couldn't accept this, so I left home, rented an apartment, and started working in a local cafe. One time, Melissa and I agreed to meet at a bar, but she didn't show. Her phone didn't she did. answer, and I went to her house. She did. A copy of her keys. She's a prisoner. When I got there, Prison I didn't guard. even have to enter. Look at that guy's face Melissa beside her. Go back, look at that guy's face. And taken away he looks like, you know, the NPC meme? Yeah. It kind of looks like that. Poor guy. What is it, what is it, like, what does that face mean in this world? Because it's so, it's so different. Does he have, like, some kind of disorder? <laughs> None of the officers explained what had happened to me. <laughs> Why did you arrest my fiance? Shakes his head. <laughs> I don't know. No reason, really. No, no reason. She had tattoos with father and car. <laughs> Tattoo, I guess. I don't know. It said, Tattoo said, arrest me. I returned to my mom and cried all day in her arms. She reassured me. Meanwhile, the she... mom's thinking in her head, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> got old. Uh... <laughs> it's not for you, Kelly. I got angry. My mother knew nothing mm. about Melissa. She didn't do anything wrong. I left for my apartment. That's and... why most people get arrested. Yeah, like they didn't yeah. do anything wrong usually. Right, the police just, <laughs> ideally, they go for people that do nothing wrong. Right, innocence, like, If yeah. something actually goes wrong, they immediately apologize and let them go. Right, 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 exactly, right. yeah. Because it's like the burden of proof. Right? Yeah, it's like the justice Modern America system. is amazing. Simple, yeah, simple. I wouldn't abandon my girlfriend. Even the prison wouldn't separate us. My mother was wrong. The next day, I learned that they had found some illegal pills at Melissa's place. But I decided to be with her to support her through this difficult period. Wait, wait, hold on. I don't understand. They found the legal pills. She's not even saying, but they were planted there. She's just saying, okay, it's true. She was, you know, yeah. a drug dealer. But, so she's you know. a criminal. <laughs> All right. The microphone, the woman who's narrating this, is she using an iPhone? It sounds uh, like she's using like headphone, like a headphone mic. Horrible. Yeah. Uh, what it sounds like to me. I decided to find a job as a janitor in her prison. But when I called- Meanwhile, they... she visited the prison a dozen times to meet her and they're, they're like, oh yeah, hell yeah. Unexpectedly <laughs> offered me a job as a guard. Salaries in prison- Random are... person with no training gets offered a job as Yo, a guard. <laughs> yeah, sure. Likely story. Yeah, absolutely. What's that? What's she eating right there? Not gold coins. Can you, can we get a fart sound for the realism yeah, here? here we go. There we Thanks, go. Brother. Despite the fact that I'm only 19, I had to go through a couple of training what? sessions. I thought it was easy, but how stupid <laughs> I was. <laughs> huh? 
th this is the biggest like backhanded flex I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. I mean like I had to do some training and exercises, but like no biggie, whatever. I get it. It was easy. <laughs> Terrible. Bruh. Cockroaches and mice were everywhere. Look at that Once rat. Once in the canteen, okay, I saw a huge mouse fall into a pot which contained Yo. all the prisoners. This is ratatouille. This, this is, is the, the source material. This is the fucking plot of ratatouille, bud. Ratatouille. Hell yes. I like and the this. prison guard had a big hat that for some reason was moving. <laughs> It began to be cooked in there. Bruh. Eventually, the cook, rat. with a straight face, noticed That's it and simply threw it out. See, no problem. If I would see a rat in my soup, I'd also throw it out. What, what, what's, what's the problem here? Yeah, dude, you see a rat in a soup, but you just take it out and you set it somewhere else, and then your problem's yeah, over. I, I don't get the issue here at all. Yeah, what's like, the issue? What's going on? You yeah, get an issue know. here's tissue. Poured in the bowls, and I was so sickened by it that I didn't eat anything for two days. But I didn't want to be outside in the city. And besides, what? I didn't have a car. I am She's in a prison, no problem. Outside in the city? Uh-uh. This is where we draw the line. This <laughs> makes no sense. Meanwhile, we find out that this is actually a prison in Guatemala, and it's exactly how it actually happened. It's actually just real. <laughs> This is actual video. This is how things look in South America. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You see here, th this isn't yeah. animation or whatever. It's just everything in Guatemala is like yeah. 240 FPS, you know, 240 pixels. Exactly. 240 p. A lot of views. 240 p. The conditions there weren't much better than those of the prison itself. What's on the there walls? There was fungus on the wall. I think that's, uh, oh, she says fungus, but we all know that some of the prison guards, uh, you know, had Shrek? a fun time in there. <laughs> this is the Shrek crossover we need. <laughs> yeah, he Shrek the wall up. You we shrek that wood up. ourselves. They chopped wood the themselves. To the prison guards. Stove so as to not freeze. Bro, the rooms they didn't were have damp. Heating. Everything was wet and smelled like dead from leaves. Oh. But there are leaves falling in her house. I was gonna too. say, uh, is there trees in the house? Is it a tree not, house? <laughs> At least we could go to the supermarket and buy everything we needed. That's After good. all, the prisoners didn't have such an opportunity. Most of them... But that's because they're prisoners and you're the guard. I don't yeah. understand what her whole argument is. Yeah, I'm thinking like, about just... Bro, fucking... I feel so bad for these prisoners. They can't go shopping. Uh, Yeah, but they're also drug dealers, murderers, and rapists. Yeah, you uh, kind of lose those rights whenever you commit crimes. And visited by anyone, let alone had parcels delivered to them. I was so sorry for Melissa. I regularly brought her food and other things. Things like good soap or shampoo. And drugs. After all, most of the women Had there were dirty, pills. smelled terrible, Look and them, some dude. didn't even wash for weeks. Just disgusting. Ew. Ew. Disgusting. As someone that takes a shower once a week, whether I need it or not, I'm offended by it. Yeah, dude, what the fuck? Yeah, hell yeah. I just took my weekly shower too, so I'm totally on board. Frick yeah, baby. This is why we're the boys. High five. Oh, you're like a, you're not real. Yeah, I'm just the boys. <laughs> I'm not a real person. True. <laughs> <laughs> but just try. Yeah, At yeah. first, Melissa complained that she couldn't sleep with them being in the same cell. But then she seemed to adapt to prison routine. She's a lesbian and they all, you know. <laughs> right, exactly. Anyway. Yeah, that's prison routine, you know. Oh, now she's going to find out that Melissa's cheating on her. And she'll be like, you know what? I'm going to take my carrot back. Thank you. <laughs> you <make my laughs> carrot, bitch. She became very friendly with one of the other prisoners, Wendy. And uh -oh. began reaching out for me less and less. Ooh. I was uh -oh. only in this terrible place for her sake. To save up money for a good lawyer for her. Uh-oh. She's, she's not here to save up money. She could have gotten a job anywhere else. It didn't need to be in a prison to save money. She got okay. the job specifically there to be with her. So like, right. this is so, this bullshit, this story is bullshit. Other than that, it makes sense. Other than that though, it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty rock solid to be honest. Yeah, I mean, it's better than Frozen 2. <laughs> <laughs> One evening before the evening meal, I caught Melissa and her friend <gasps> Wendy kissing in the corner of Nani? the cell. My heart almost broke. My eyes filled with tears, and I rushed to separate them. After the tears bouncing as she's walking, did you notice that? Almost her broke. tears were bouncing. My eyes filled doing, with doing, tears, doing, and I rushed to separate them. <laughs> After them all, tears it's like bounce, it's though. ice snot. You know, it's ice snot instead of tears. Mucal <laughs> ice drippings. <laughs> <laughs> Only mine. Melissa thought I was going to attack her quote unquote friend and started shouting. How? Other <laughs> guards came running to the scream and dragged me away, but I couldn't calm down. Melissa, who I had given everything, had betrayed me. Of Yo. Um, all right, listen to your mom. Boom. Dude, Take no that. Not I only... thought that this was going to be some nice progressive story and stuff about like Dude. LGBT community and, and loving 
love and all that, but not nah, man, mom was right at the end. This is this story is literally just Ratatouille and Orange is the New Black. Just except the up. shower scenes in this uh, animation aren't nearly as good as Orange is the New Black. Yeah, and everything else about it is also not nearly as good as well. Right, yeah. Even the so. color orange. The other guards had known about my connection with Melissa. They had just been silent about it before, and so I was taken to the warden. Naturally, I received a harsh reprimand and was subsequently fired, but I didn't care. She should be! Sorry. The girl that I lived <laughs> for, the very reason I had thrown my life away to work as a prison guard- Her life wasn't thrown away, she just got a job. Dude, honestly, I'm. it's it's hard for me to have any sympathy for this woman. She's no, she's so she's annoying. She's her mom, which is red flag one, red okay? Flag one. What's and red then flag the rest three? is just more red flags. Big just red flag. Story. <laughs> Big old Chinese flag, basically. <laughs> no, that was the last story. Oh, true. Teen, instead of going to college, had cheated on me with some kind of prison rat. A prison rat? Wow, that's pretty messed up considering that she was fighting for a prison rat this whole episode. Dude, they did, they, they did her, they did Wendy dirty. I think they did everyone dirty except for the mom who has like this True. evil master anime villain laugh going True. on right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how they sound. <laughs> That's pretty anime of me. To say oh, yeah. That. I've never heard that. something so anime in my life. I went home to my mother. She welcomed me with open arms and at first listened to my story. But then she spun her old record again. That it was time for me to find a decent guy. Uh -huh. the old to record. Bro, the mother spun her old record. Old She's record. still a bitch. Is even though she was absolutely right about everything. <laughs> even though she what wasn't sure from the very beginning, you wouldn't even have this five minute long story if it wasn't for her. Piece of I don't know, man. I don't know. <sighs> Honestly, I'm this. I'm on the side of this Karen. Hell yes. Some Karens oh. are worth fighting for. Yeah. She was leading you down a bad track, honey. It's not for nothing that they found those illegal pills under her bathtub. Wait. She's an ultimate Karen. She planted the pills. Huh? She planted the pills. Yo. Yo. I think you know what that means. That means the mom was actually right all along. Even better. Not only is that a huge flex on Melissa, right? But also, Melissa ended up cheating on her. So Melissa was not yeah, faithful. So no. like her planting the pills and framing this this uh, innocent person to be put in prison saved her daughter's ass in the future. She's so I like to think that that is fifth dimension. A 4D chess, Karen. Dumb high yeah. IQ move. I couldn't believe my ears. Oh, yeah? How did my mother know that the illegal pills were found under the bathtub? After all, I only found out about that in prison from Melissa herself. And I had never. When I saw more illegal drugs under her bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> my mom. The stronger my mother hugged me, the stronger I clutched the locket in my hand. I understood everything. It was my mom who had planted the medicine in Melissa's house. She had made a copy of Melissa's house key and then called the police. As easy as that. You know, it's just copy paste. That's Yo. how you make copy of keys, control right? Control C, Control V. My mom turned out to be right, though. My girlfriend did betray me. Now that she figured out that her mom is actually an evil warlord, Karen, <laughs> she's willing to admit that she was right about the other thing. <laughs> Dude, this story is all over the place. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't understand. How do 18,000 people like this? It's 18,001. Me and it's my homies great. always leave likes. Yeah, like you should do to this video, because after a million likes, we're going to sue the animation channel. Exactly. <laughs> Woo! Woo Hell yeah, go Karen. Of course, yep. I haven't told anyone what she the did. The ghost of Karen. But what do you think? Do did you see really that finger? Dude, I did. Wish what what like. about this gave it away? Honestly, I think that this one, with, with all the twists and turns, I think it's pretty believable. The only one complaint I have, uh, I have to say, is the fact that there's no way they that Shrek was able to reach that high with his junk spunk. Yeah, I don't know, though. I mean, a good a good flick of the wrist can get, you know, some distance. Flick of the wrist? <laughs> Where? Yeah. Look I don't want to ask you about your... Uh, yeah, you have that beautiful bottle of lube right next to you, so I'm sure you have much experience. What do you mean? <laughs> what lube? What lube? Huh? Uh, this is Purell. <laughs> this is uh, this is just yogurt. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I think that's uh, it's enough animation for one day. Let us know if you want more collabs, more yeah. wacky reactions to yeah. terrible stuff. <laughs> I asked, I asked on my channel to if 50,000 likes, and then I would do another video with you, maybe. You know what, Maybe. bro? I'll say the same. 50,000 likes. We do another one of these bad boys together. We'll do it live. 100K and we sue the cha we sue the animation channel. We'll do it live, too. Link to Oompaville in the description. Feel free to check him out. We did another one over there with other wacky animations. Yes. And uh, have yourself a most wonderful evening.
Thank you, Oompa, for joining. Hell Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. And uh, stay weird, fam. <laughs>